Hello, my name is Mr. M.G. Mays, and this is Faith Revival Place International. Today we're going to be talking to about a very uh, serious subject that uh, sometimes we'll get overlooked. It, we're going to talk about your will, which uh, also is uh, your choice and choosing. So let us get in the Word of God. Um, and also the, the sermons called choosing wisely so with that with that let's get in the word of God shall we but uh, before we do let's just give a short prayer to the Lord shall we thank you father we come to you in prayer we thank you praise you give you glory and honor and praise I pray that uh, this sermon will uh, penetrate everybody's heart that listens to it today I thank you, Father. I thank you that you choose to bless and you choose also to uh, judge uh, those that are uh, doing wrong on this earth as well. We thank you, Lord, that you've given us a choice as well and a will to, to choose things as well and that we need to be guided by your Holy Spirit on these things. We thank you and praise you and give you all the glory and honor and praise with the name above all names, the name of Yeshua, Jesus. We pray, Amen. Okay, we're going to start off by going to James chapter one, verse two through eight. So let us crack the Bibles open and go there together. And the Word of God says, "Regard it all joy, brothers and sisters, when you face verso." kinds of temptation for you know that the test of the true pr produces perseverance but let perseverance do its complete work so that you may be com complete and whole lacking in nothing now if any of you lack wisdom let him ask God who gives to all generously and without reproach and it will be given to you. But let him ask, trust, doubting nothing. For doubters is like a wave of sea being tossed and driven by the wind. Indeed, that person should not think that he will receive anything from the Lord. Because he has a, a double-minded, unsuitable in all his ways. So this don't be double-minded, this be straightforward and know that we have a choice and this choose life, this choose the things of God. Now not everything that the Lord will tell us to do is, is going to make sense to us because we are down here, he's up there and he understands everything. He's Daddy God and we're not and he knows our the perfect will for our lives. But we got to have us ourselves that choose to allow the Holy Spirit make us successful in life. Not we're not talking about money yet, mind you. It's everything in life. Money is this one of the tools of the trade. And my question for all you when money's gone someday, what are you gonna do then? See so you gotta understand all the blessings that God has lavished on the earth, the different tools with, for different things. And one of the biggest one is choice. We have to choose to do the right thing or you choose to do the wrong thing. You know, I always think inside myself when I hear people blame God for things or they blame the devil for things. But you know what? Neither party, you need to blame your own self because you either chose to do it or you chose not to do it and you allowed other organizations to choose it for you and they chose wrongly more than likely because that's so that's what's going on nowadays is the choice is not being choose by your own self you're letting someone else choose for you when you do that you bad things can occur 
because God is giving everybody their own unique will. And as we know, as according to Scripture, devil comes to kill, kill, and destroy, but the dog comes as a gentleman to bring life and white life more abundantly, full of glory. And that's our beautiful God. So, with Enduro, let's uh, go to the next scripture here. We're going to go to Matthew 6, 19 through 24. So let's crack that Bible and go there, shall we? And at the end, we're, we're going to also pray for the sick, and we're going to pray uh, for deliverance of others, and also we're going to pray for those who want to accept Jesus for the first time or the hundredth time, but make sure you know it, you know it in your heart and mind, and confess it with your mouth that the Lord Jesus is your personal Savior, sure. So, let us uh, get over there. And the scripture says, Do not store up for yourself wealth here on earth, where moth and rust destroy it, burgers break in and steal. Instead, store up for yourself wealth in heaven, where neither moths, moth or rust destroy. Bur burgers do not break in and steal. For where your wealth is, your heart is will also well be well you choose you see what I'm saying well um, the eye is the lamp of the body so if you have a good eye that is if you're generous your whole body will be full of light but if you are an evil eye if you are stingy your whole body will be full of darkness if then the light is your is your darkness, how great is the darkness? No one can serve uh, two masters, for he either will uh, hate the first and love the second, or scorn the second and loyal to the first. You cannot be slave to both God and money. So that's pretty plain right there. Are you a slave to money, or are you are you the master of the blessing that God has given us? One of them, money and other things. But money is nothing without God in the picture. Look at all these countries that are have money, and look at what they are now, including our own. Sad but true. When God is not the center of all things, it doesn't matter if it's government, your home, or your church, or synagogue, it's all the same to God. It's no specter of person. And so when when they all go rack on God, this is what happens. Simply, everything can be fixed if they turn their will back over to God. At, from the government house to the, to the home. And it doesn't matter, he's no specter of person, so it doesn't matter what country it is, as as people are seeing. Because no, no country is vulnerable of being judged by God. Because, the, first of all, they'd be judged by God because they're not in God's will. God's will, they're not choosing to do the right things according to the Bible and whatever their, the good laws of the land that were in the beginning were created that were holy and good but then others get a hold of these other laws that are not holy you know but the ground rule of the laws of the land that started in the word of God so let us go on we're going to Philippians chapter 1 verse 18c to 26 and you're going to notice about me, I like to do the whole thought. The reason why there's so much different denominations out there is because they fight. Because they don't go by the whole thought of the Word of God. They're not yielding their will, their 
cho they're not choosing to allow the Holy Spirit run their, their church or their synagogue or, or government place at that matter. Because of that, there's there's a lack of confusion in that word they're reading. So I'd like you all to choose to read that whole thought, whether it be one verse or ten verses or the whole chapter being that thought. Honor the word of God. Because when you honor God's word, he honors you. It's very simple. Now I know some of you want, might not like that, but I'm not here to please you. I'm here to please God, just like you should be doing the same. Because it's all about pleasing the Lord first, and then everybody second. You don't take care of God's needs you're not taking care of your own in the in the uh, everything you know so let's uh, read the word here yes and I will continue to rejoice for I know that this will work out for my deliverance because of the prayers and support I get from the spirit of Yeshua which is the Holy Spirit the Messiah, it all according with my earnest uh, expectations and hope that I will have nothing to be ashamed of, but rather now as also the Messiah will be honored by my body, whether it, it lives or dies. For to me, life is the Messiah and death is the gain. But if by living on it the body I can be fruitful works and I don't know which to choose I am confident in the dilemma uh, my desire to do go off and be with the Messiah that is better and, and far but because of you I the greater need is to stay on in my body Yes, I am convinced of this, so I know I will stay on with you in order to help you uh, progress in faith and have in joy. Then through my being uh, with you again, you will have even greater reason for boasting about the Messiah Yeshua. See, Paul recognized that life is not just uh, loosely living it. Life is all about serving God. Choosing to serve God. It's not just serving God, but choosing every day to do it. Choosing to allow the Holy Spirit, you know, to live and rule and help you with that choice and making it successful. That doesn't mean the devil's going to come and put a wrench into life. He will. He'll, he'll, he'll throw it to some chests. So will God. But you need to choose to do the right things and not the wrong things when, when those wrenches come near your grilling place. You need to understand it's God's way or the highway. And boy, that, a lot of people go on the highway and to down to death and destruction. Let's go the country way where there's life and life more abundantly. You know, where you we see the flowers grow, the trees, the corn, the wheat, the cattle, all that kind of stuff. A free will, all she see is this black pavement. See what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's not, you know, I'm just using it as an analogy. I'm not saying that going to free will is bad, but, but when you think about it in a visual, commentary way, uh, you, can, you can grasp that. You see what I'm saying? So... Anyways, God bless you. Um, let's uh, go on right now. Uh, we're going to go to one of my favorite kinder spirits. His name is Joshua. We're going to go to the book of Joshua. And uh, we're going to go to the 24th verse. 14 and 15 is the thought. And I still believe that Joshua and Judges should be part of the Torah. I believe it's 7, not 5. But it's for everybody to figure that out through the Holy Spirit. But when it comes down to it, the whole good news is from Genesis to Revelation, as we all know. Yeah. 
we are almost there. I'm doing it this way so we can all turn together. It's nice to hear the crackle of the Word of God, you know what I mean? It means that we are wanting to dig in and, and get there. Okay, so it's Jer uh, Joshua chapter 24, verse 14 through 15. And the word of God says, Therefore, Reverend Elder Nye, serve him truly and sincerely. Put away gods of your ancestors that served beyond the Euphrates River and Egypt. And serve Elder Nye. If, if it seems bad to you to serve Elder Nye, then choose today whom you will, are going to serve. Will it be the gods of the ancestors and serve beyond the river or the gods of uh, Aramor, which is today Iran, in whom the land you are living. As for me and my house, we will serve Adonai, which is the sovereign God, Yah Yahweh, you know, Adonai. So I'm going to say the same thing. Choose this day who you're going to serve. Are you going to serve uh, your your government? Are you going to serve money? Are you going to serve your mayor? Are you going to serve the president? Are you going to serve God? Because anything else before God becomes idle. So choose this day what you will, what you choose to serve. I pray it's God and not the president, not the mayor, not the government, not your car, not your money. Uh, you see where I'm going? Look at how many idols that is mentioned off could be idols if it's, it's above God. Nothing should go above God. Amen? Okay. And now we're going to go to Amos chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. Listen to that nice cracking of the word of God. Open it. It's such a wonderful sound. Praise the Lord. Okay. Let us read the word now. Seek good and not evil. That's simple. So that you will survive. Then Adonai Elohim Tezah, which is translate sovereign most high uh, our God of the heavenly armies Adonai Elohim Tezak will take pity on on the survivors of, of Yosef. Yosef is um, the tri two tribes basically Ephraim and Manasseh which takes up a lot of the earth. And more likely uh, especially in, in America, Canada, United Kingdom, all the English speaking, a lot of them are from that tribe of, of Ephraim and Manasseh, but not ruling out all the rest of the tribes that are out there that make the word Israel. So basically, I want you to really think about choosing, first of all. If you're not choosing, you need to start learning to choose. And if you're choosing wrong, start choosing right. And if you are choosing right, choose to allow the Holy Spirit to help you with that choice in life. Where your will will take you. So, with that, I'm going to I'm gonna uh, pray for those that need a healing. So, let us bow our, our, our heads before the Creator. And I'm going to agree in prayer for those that are sick right now that through the authority of the word of God that they will be healed through the name above all names, Shua Jesus. So let us do that. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We come to you in prayer. We thank you for all the beauty and holiness in your love that you choose to heal your people. And, and even if they're not your people, you choose to, to uh, honor them through their faith they have. And I thank you, Father, right now that you're healing love will go upon every individual that needs a healing. Rather it be a toothache to a to a great uh, problem in them. 
or maybe their uh, loved one that they're standing for right now. We ask that you and your holy angels will go forth and take care of that, whether it's a, a physical healing or a mental healing or, or some other form of healing. We thank you, Lord, that you know their need. And I agree in the name of Yeshua, Jesus, that that need will be met as their faith um, believes in it and trusts and knows the word of God. We thank you and praise you. Amen. Now we're going to pray for deliverance over people. Maybe there's some of you that are still smoking or drinking or doing drugs or, or maybe into other deliverance things that we don't have to go into the Bible talks about. Right now, we're going to pray over for deliverance for all of you. That it could be something small, too. You know, this minute before God's throne, take it to the throne of God right now. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Father. I pray for deliverance for those that need deliverance right now. I thank you, Father, that you can deliver people from cigarettes and alcohol and drugs and addictions. We thank you, Father, that you're on your throne and your healing of virtue of deliverance is going upon everybody that needs it right now. In the name above all names, the name of Yeshua Jesus, we pray. Amen. Now we're going to pray a third prayer, which is the most important prayer, salvation. Salvation of your soul, your mind, your will, emotion, your spirit your body, all of you, because God wants to take care of all, all of you. So here we go. Everybody, just repeat this. And, and if, if you are already saved, you know it, you know it, and you're following a 100% relationship, just agree and pray with me, you know, it will steadfast for others that have. Here we go. Dear God, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Lord and Savior of my life. Love you, Yeshua Jesus. Amen. Shalom. Now, if you meant that, you confess it with your heart and your mouth, the Lord Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, out of night, then you're saved right now. But you got to pick up the word. If you don't have the word, go uh, go, go to a friend you know that's saved, or go, go to the nearest Bible bookstore, pick up a classic King James of Geneva, or a Complete Jewish Bible, one of the three uh, that I recommend highly, um, and start reading it. This read from Genesis to Revelation, Revelation Genesis. So whatever the the Lord Spirit of God is showing you, or or uh, get a Bible study going with someone that's been a believer longer than you, and uh, just start studying the Word. Study thyself to be approved by God. It says that in the Word. And so we got to study, study the Word. Just don't read it, study it. But when you start out, I understand you got to read, you know, to grasp it a little. But also try to uh, get into Bible study, and they'll, they'll help you learn how to study that Word, hopefully. And if they don't, well, go, go to one that does. Go to church that stays in the Word, and and uh, when they're doing the worship, make sure it's, it's, it's for the Lord, and not for everybody else. You know, those, those two keys are very important. Or in every week, you can listen to, you know, the sermons here as well. Um, but I, I want you to allow the Lord to help you choose now. You know. Now, we're, we are going to do a final prayer. And we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to help us choose all right. And we're all going to pray it right now. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We come to you in prayer. We thank you for... Uh, what you've shown me on, on, on our will, our choice, how we choose. And Father, I ask by your Holy Spirit that you'll help us all choose the things that you have for us to do individually and corporately as the body of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Rather, uh, whatever uh, they are, but they're gathered in, in one spot in, in the, as believers. And we thank you, Father, for that. We thank you, Lord, that where our choice will be hovered by the Holy Spirit right now, each one of our lives. We thank you 
and we praise you for everything. We praise you the fact that you choose to, to get involved in humanity. You could have chose not to. And, and so with that ado, we, we pray that our choices will be lined up with your word and with the Holy Spirit most importantly. We thank you and praise you. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus, amen. Now, let the Holy Spirit guide you. And uh, God bless you. We're, we're going to be talking about the next Thursday about um, how God chooses to do things in the, through the Word as well. Um, so God bless you. Shalom. Amen. Lord be with you.